We were up a bit late last night. Uh, we were looking for uh, UFOs, you know, weird things from outer space. Speaking of which, come on over here, Harold. <laughs> Uh, Harold is uh, my nephew and also the producer and uh, the director of the show. He's a real uh, jerk of all trades. Plus, I do this. That takes us into the next segment, you know, in case this one's dragging or something like that. So naturally, I you know, need all these buttons. <laughs> I'm busy. Yeah, wow. Well, so anyhow, uh, like I say, we were watching for UFOs. We were having a skinny dip after dinner, and we saw this huge thing kind of go through the air. I, we thought at first that it was Moose Thompson, but uh, this seemed to have some intelligence to it. Did it look anything like this? No, not at all. Oh, well, that eliminates that. That eliminates what? You finishing your story. So anyway, uh, like I was saying about uh, UFO uh, sightings, uh, the bunch of us were having a late night skinny dip last night, and uh, this UFO come down about treetop level, hovered there for a little while, then it took off, about a trillion miles an hour, and it comes rolling back down, screeches to a halt, but without a screech. No way, Uncle Red. These things always turn out to be like swamp gas, or weather balloons, or cafeteria food. <laughs> there are aliens, and they exist, Harold, and they're watching us. It's just that the government is keeping the whole thing a big secret. Well, so am I. <laughs> bunch of us, as I say, were skinny dipping, and uh, we saw this UFO thing, and it came down, and it, it was just like out of the movie E.T., except it was smaller, and it didn't have that great song, <laughs> uh, but it landed in the woods just behind the lodge, so we just went right over there, and we didn't even stop to, you know, get dressed or anything, because we thought, well, you know, maybe they would be uh, intimidated by clothing or possibly allergic to it, so anyway, we just, oh, buck naked, a bunch of us just uh, whipped over there, you know, and, and, and we also took a gift. Uh, beer, and uh, and we showed them how to drink it, and, uh, and then they, they they just started to leave. They got up and this and everything started, and we followed and we chased them all through the forest and even actually up onto the main highway. And uh, we're running down there, and you know the feet on the asphalt is not a fun thing. And uh, just as we got close to them, they kind of shimmered out of existence, and uh, the spaceship just rose silently into the night sky. And that's how come the six of us ended up um, drunk and start naked in the middle of the main highway. And uh, you ask any one of the bunch of us and you'll get exactly the same story word for word. Anyway, <clears throat> my wife is watching. Uh, I'll be home just as soon as I finish talking to my lawyer. So, hey, on behalf of uh, myself and uh, the nephew over there. Harold. Harold, I knew that. Uh, and a whole bunch of us up here at the lodge. Until next time, uh, keep your stick on the ice.